when the discussions about age limit were going on. Personally, I wondered whether this was an issue taking number one on the list of priorities we have in Uganda. The issue of removing the age limit and changing our constitution using the mandate that you are parliamentarians, it's not good for us as religious leaders. We see it's not going to promote peace in this country. During this festival season, pulpits in wash places have served as platforms for the clergy to condemn parliament for passing the controversial constitutional amendment bill, which recommended the lifting of the age limit. However, the executive director of Uganda Media Center of Ono Pondo says religious leaders are deviating from their spiritual obligations. Where they were preaching, there were people who support, who voted indeed for removal of the age limit. So we don't think the pulpit, the pulpit should be the place for their politics. Speaking to NTV, the outspoken opponent says religious leaders should know Uganda is not a theocracy. Our constitution does not grant religious leaders the right to dictate how the politics is run. If they want us to run a theocracy, let those bishops come and run for elections. Let Dr. Luanga come to and run for elections, Dr. Luwalira and the rest. A section of politicians and members of the civil society say removing age limit from the constitution has robbed the country of the chance to witness a peaceful handover of power from one president to another. This is also a sentiment which many religious leaders have echoed. If they don't want life presidency, especially of URM7, they can come and run in the elections of NRM and defeat him within NRM. If they fail, they can go and mobilize Ugandan voters to reject this life presidency of 35 years by 2021. However, some of the MPs who are against the deletion of the age limit from the constitution, Medad Segona of Upsura East and Butambala County MP Mwanga Kivumbi say religious leaders ought to offer guidance to the country. My humble view, they are doing what they ought to do and we can only thank them for their view and parliament and the leadership in the country should do better listen. Whenever politicians have messed up the, 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 the governance of the country, religious leaders and their institutions have ended up suffering. And we shall, not, uh, we shall not accept them to define what the priorities are, what the political priorities are for the, gov for the, for the country or for the government. The MPs now want the clergy to petition President William Seveni not to assent to the bill. Let them not speak from their different pulpits. They have the interreligious council, okay? They can summon the elders. They can still go and appeal to the president and say, look here, it's never too late for you to do good. In this diocese, Anglican Bishop Dan Zoreka is among those who have made an impression to the president not to sign the bill in too low. Agnes Nandutu, NTV tonight.